Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Yesterday at about 12.54 p.m. local time there at Sandpoint, Alaska, there was a magnitude 7.5 earthquake. 309 people reported feeling this earthquake and there was um, a tsunami warning posted. Two tsunami waves were recorded of four feet uh, three inches, but on shore, observers said that the uh, two tsunami waves were about one and a half feet. The tsunami warning extended as far as Hawaii. You can see right here, advisory for Hawaii. Here's all the earthquakes within the last week in this location. They're saying that this earthquake was an aftershock of the earthquake that they had in July. That was a 7.8. This earthquake, which they downgraded to a 7.5, was originally a 7.6. So using Google Earth, here is yesterday afternoon, 7.5. Here is the location of the 7.8. You can see here we got um, where the Pacific Ocean is sliding up towards Alaska. We got subduction. And here we can see that the fault line raised up and towards the east. And then this one it actually dropped down. This is on Geoscope. They have it listed as a magnitude 7.6 and a depth of 36 kilometers. So that would be about uh, 22 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured at sea level. Now here on tsunami.gov you can see we got um, the 7.5 right there were issued the tsunami warning and then another one for today a 5.1 but there is no tsunami threat from this 5.1 the 7.5 earthquake that caused the tsunami warning they got observations here at sandpoint alaska two feet three inches king cove alaska two feet one inch and then they get smaller and then we have Chignik Bay, Alaska, they had a sighting of 2 feet 5 inches for the tsunami. And like I said, this is no longer a threat. Warnings were sent to California. It says outside California, Oregon, Washington, British Columbia, and Alaska. People along the lower areas um, were given evacuation orders. Uh, Sand Point, um, their school is designated as one of the... Uh, evacuations areas they said that the earthquake shook for about 45 seconds there evacuation areas extended from unamac pass to homer and uh, kennedy entrance some of the felt reports on emsc this is meldoon uh, fred meyer parking lot now they are over 500 miles from where the earthquake occurred and it says they felt trembling seconds like 20 seconds 1,589 miles away at Cherry Point, Canada. They reported, my chair shook at work while I was on the phone. It was very quick. Didn't think it was an earthquake until I heard the news later. So we have 50 earthquakes listed here uh, within the last 24 hours. The latest being a magnitude 5.2. And they're claiming this is an aftershock from that uh, 7.8 but this area has had in the past in 1946 an 8.6 earthquake it is unusual in my opinion to have such a large earthquake um, what how many months three months since the 7.8 and that was on the 22nd of the month and today's the 20th of, of October and as you know any earthquake has a 5% chance of being a foreshock of something much larger so is this just the beginning of you know some strong earthquakes coming after such a long period of calm quiet yeah prior to this there wasn't any strong earthquakes uh, since the 12th of this month um, did you feel it how long did it last um, what are your thoughts please put your comments down below thank you for watching Thank you to all of you that help support my work. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.